been big news today as we count down to the Republican National Convention right here in Charlotte. A source says county health officials plan to screen and test every single person going into the RNC. This is even if they lift restrictions on large gatherings. This is a significant development because the convention is a little more than 100 days away. It is scheduled for August 24th through the 27th. Some 50,000 people expected to attend. WCNC Charlotte's Ashley Daly joining us from the Spectrum Center, which will host the RNC. Ashley, the RNC also planning to put in some of their own safety measures with this as well, right? Yeah, Fred, officials with the RNC say they've hired a doctor who they say will oversee plans to make sure every attendee who walks through those doors is not only safe, but healthy. Despite the coronavirus pandemic, politics are pushing forward, including plans to host the RNC in Charlotte this August. Speaking on Charlotte's WBT radio this morning, the president's daughter-in-law, Laura Trump, said this. Listen, still planning on, on having it. It's still going to go forward. We're trying to plan an epic, epic convention. With the convention expected to bring an estimated 50,000 visitors to Charlotte, some city leaders questioning how to do so safely. We don't want to be the epicenter of uh, the next outbreak. Uh, we don't want to offer up our city as a Petri dish. Some argue it's too soon to make any big decisions, but in an exclusive interview with Dr. Anthony Fauci, he says any decision made by the RNC won't come down to whether there are still cases, but rather how well they're contained. By the time you get to the summer, I don't think that there's gonna be zero coronavirus around. Just yesterday, the Democratic National Convention announced their rules committee voted to allow virtual voting as talks of taking their convention totally virtual continue to arise. So what would a virtual national convention look like? What I think you will see is perhaps a few people in key slots like a keynote speaker, like the vice presidential candidates, like the presidential candidates. Catawba College political professor Dr. Michael Bitzer says virtual conventions Conventions will be unlike the ones we know today, without crowds, without music, without energy. But he says the message to voters will be the same. Now, neither the DNC nor RNC have announced any official itineraries. Reporting live uptown at the Spectrum Center, Asha Daly, WCNC Charlotte.